good girl. I don't have a treat. Anyways, welcome to Good Morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. It's sponsored by Posy Pig. <laughs> you guys remember when I used to film Daisy when she was a baby and she would snuggle in all my clean dry towels when I took them out of the dryer? Well, that is Posy today. She was digging in here and trying to get warm. Pigs sure love to be warm. The only thing that they love more than being warm is food. <laughs> and that's what she's looking for. She is wandering around looking for food, even though she's been fed. Pigs actually eat the tiniest amount of food. They actually only need the tiniest amount of food. People overfeed pigs more than any other animal. But welcome to today. We have a family dinner that we have to go to today. So I'm trying to get all the things I need to do on this farm done before we go, which means laundry. Today I did some spring cleaning. I cleaned up the whole fridge. I Do you guys do this? I took all the triplet bottles of everything that we have. So we have three ketchup bottles, three mustard bottles, three salad dressings. I emptied them all into one bottle and get rid of all the extras. extras. Our fridge is all fresh and clean and half empty, ready for Easter dinner. We have Easter dinner coming up this week. And I am so excited about that. I'm also excited about some heat because it is really cold still. You can tell by Daisy laying on the dog bed in the sun, enjoying the warmth and all the dogs laying where the sun comes in. All of them except for Posey Pig, who's scrounging around trying to find whatever food she can get. She is super attached to me. Just a little update on the Posey Pig situation. She is super attached to me. If she hears my voice, she calls me. If uh, she sees me come into the room, she cries until I take her out of her crate but she's really good. She doesn't go to the bathroom in the house, so we are able to leave her out. She stays out most of the day. I only put her in at night, and I only put her in when we leave the house, but she's a good girl. Just been finishing up my Easter shopping, getting the girls little things that they love um, to put in their Easter baskets, but shopping is a little bit tricky for me. Comment below what you asked for this year for Easter or what you put in your kids' Easter baskets. I really want to know. I don't want my kids to have a ton of chocolate, so we're going to be, um, so we're just going to have a few, a little bit of chocolate in there, but what else do you put in your Easter basket? Sophie is really good about telling me what she wants. Gabby never is good at telling me what she wants. Oh, someone suggested we get silkies. We luckily have five. I feel like we should just let the chickens out today. Well, not the rooster. Well. I'm like so excited to let them free range again. It's just bad timing because. She's like, I'm going back and. Because the hawks and stuff are really out right now. But we have how many, four or five silkies? Five, but one's half. Oh. <laughs> So we have four silkies. So today we're gonna try and take pictures of all of our roosters again, but nicer pictures. Like we gave our friend a rooster. Actually, she bought a rooster from Sophie and he is so gorgeous. All right, we're gonna just bring him out in the sunshine and take pictures of them. So just like in regular animal fashion, they're making it really difficult for us because every time we put them out here to take a picture of them, they run back home. <laughs> Like this looks like Pablo. So that is so cute. He is so. <coughs> Are you okay? What the hell? Are you okay? I know. <laughs> there oh, he goes. It's muddy there, Mom. <laughs> Don't go there. Oh no. <laughs> it's just a little muddy. <laughs> it's not working out. Oh man. Sophie just slid right here. Why do we laugh when someone falls? Like, it's just awful. Hey. <laughs> she didn't get whiplash, she said. I'm going inside, <laughs> She's covered in mud now. This is my favorite silky. That's her favorite silky. It's Miss Biscuit. Miss Biscuit. <laughs> She's so cute. Yeah, so we let them for yeah we're ready to eat our one rooster, man. He is he pecks me all the time, and it is awful. I don't, I mean, don't go there. Yeah, don't go over there, Mom. It's, it's, it's I know. He's cute, though. Look at him just strutting around. Yeah, we literally get seconds to take a picture of them because they just go right back inside. Sophie's like, just let's try and be fast. But nothing with animals is fast. Like, 
it's wild, especially when it's cold, you want to be fast. She's like, am I coming down there? Yeah, the horses are looking so cute. We all are just so anxious for warm weather. This is an idea I had last night and we're gonna do this probably tomorrow when it's warm. We're gonna take this piece off. It's warm right here. Yeah, we're, that's why we're gonna let the goats out now because in the sun you can lay down and get warm. So even though it's cold, they can get warm. So we're gonna leave this part up. So this part, so from here, back will be on and then we're going to put a big huge tarp over top of it and tie it over top of it and tie it down and this is where our baby boys are going to go for now and they'll be able to go in and out of there and they'll have shade out here which is such an important thing and then eventually when our pigs come out here they'll be able to come and go as well but they'll have this area that is shaded for summer taking off this part so right now i have to duck to go under here but taking off this part will mean that we can walk all the way in so we don't have to duck but it's not that beautiful but i think it will be really good for providing shade for our shade and cover for our little bucklings it looks nice out though it looks so sunny okay so last night was he double hockey sticks on the day by day farm and i'm going to explain why you guys know we got a new little baby doling 12 weeks old just a tiny little thing and we're super excited about her i'm super excited about her and we were trying to figure out where we were going to put her. We ended up moving everybody around. These two ended up in this stall. It was a temporary situation. They will uh, be in their normal stall tonight. That will be their new normal stall over there that's all set up for goats. This place. Oh, you guys ate a lot of hay. Good job. This stall does not have a hay feeder, so I had to throw all their hay on the ground. But... <laughs> They did eat it, so that worked out really well. Hi, Rosie, you're such a princess now. I'm just loving her. We ended up putting the chocolates over in this stall because they never used the heat, the heat, like the heat heated area that they could use to stay warm. They never used it, not even one single time since they were born because they slept beside it instead. So we ended up moving them over here. We ended up putting our new little girl, we had to put something on her to keep her warm because she came from a heated barn. The barn was about 15 degrees Celsius, which is really quite warm. They're the same goat. She's still cold though. So yeah, like she's having to get used to the, the cold temperatures. Don't ever buy a goat from a heated facility unless you have a heated facility because that's tricky. She did sleep under the heated lamp last night. Last night we put Lola in here and Lola was mean to her so we took Lola out. That was a whole drama. We decided to put Winston with her because Winston's old enough, big enough, strong enough we could wean him and start milking his mom. So we put Winston in here. They're the same size, the same kind of weight. They are a really good fit. Well, Winston, just like his dad, said, I'm not staying here. I want my mom and jumped this gate more than once. <laughs> So I was watching on the cameras to make sure everything was okay and Winston said no. So Winston is never getting weaned, Sophie said. Sophie is so funny, like so funny. So anyways, Winston made his way back to his mom. We were down at the barn so many times last night. So then, you know, hey, be nice. Even though little Lola wanted to be with her group because it's hard to change groups. She got nominated and they, and it worked out. She ended she up being the one. Her. Yeah, she can't hurt her because she doesn't have her horns. I mean, she still can hurt her. Maybe swims. But anyway, that's what happened last night. We played a game of musical, musical stalls. And we're going to do it again tonight because not everybody is happy. That's for sure. And what happened to the sweater? Harley, where's your sweater? I guess. Oh, oh he, he got stuck. Oh my gosh. That is scary as heck. He got stuck. That is scary. That is scary. I'm glad you al you're alive. Glad you got free. All right, let's let them out. Everybody's like, come on, let's go. So <laughs> I know, I love this goat. Hi. I'm really dying to get out here and do all the things I want to do. I just need it to be warm. Like I have so many plans for this barn. Well, 
remember, she's a lot younger than Lola. She's a lot younger than Lola. Hey, be nice. Yes, we all know it's not your baby, but be nice. She just wants to fit in, and I think she'll fit in a lot quicker than Lola did. What are you doing? <laughs> it's time for baby goats. Look at how sturdy and stocky he looks. He's so nice looking, just like, <laughs> just like Winston. Face is so tiny. We have too many goats. Yeah, that's what she's saying. She's like, what in the heck? Where are all these babies coming from? Hi, baby. <laughs> Stop. Hey. hey there, Cricket. Come here. Her name is Luna. Sophie wants to call her Luna. Every black girl is Luna. Every, and you were right last night. I mixed up my goat, my triplets names. Yeah, I'm always right. I just wish somebody would be kind to her. Look. She's on. definitely gonna lose it's a little bit of weight. Look how cute Winston is. Winston is cute. He's a nice color. specimen. I don't love the color. I love this color. I, I like. He's kind of like a mixed color. I like that color, that gold color. When he was born. Um, he had a black stripe. Oh look, she's a baby. You like him? So we have to do chores, Sophie and I, and get everything all cleaned up and organized for tonight. I just want to sit here and watch her for a few minutes. Actually, she's a lot cuter to me today. I like her a lot better today. She's still <laughs> ugly. <laughs> so the reason that she looks funny to me is because that white mark on her head makes her head look flat. And then she has a white mark on her chin that makes it look like she has a huge overbite, which she doesn't have an overbite because I checked. <laughs> But you know how, like, on the Simpsons show, there's some guy on there that has, like, a huge overbite? I vaguely remember him, but she reminds me of that kind of a look. Be nice. Uh-oh. Look at those udders. Winston is so laid back. Yeah, Winston. Winston is a dream. For sure. She's a shorty, but she's got a nice long body. Winston's taller. And I feel like she's only looks so short because she. Oh, be nice. I feel like she's. Hey. She's tiny. I feel like she just looks shorter than she is because she's so chubby. She's so chubby. Like, see our boys? They have, like, space between their legs and their belly, and she really doesn't. And people think having children is hard. Like, honestly, get my hair out of your mouth. This is not the kind of haircut I want. Oh, my gosh. I'm trying to text to my friend because, you guys, I'm the, I think God's trying to tell me goats are not my thing. Who's eating me from the back? Stop eating my hair. The triplets are literally <laughs> the most obnoxious. Anyway, Sophie's holding my new goat. She's adorable. She's 12 weeks old. She was in a... She says, Mom, she seems like she has an udder. I'm like, she's 12 weeks old. She does not have an udder. Like, she does not have an udder. And then she's like, well, was she with any boys? Yes, she was with boys. But they were tiny little 12-week-old boys. Which definitely means that she could be pregnant. But what are the chances? Honestly, Can't if she's pregnant... The baby, pops out. <laughs> the baby pops out of that little tiny thing... I'll be so mad. Like, be like only because I like I know how hard it is when you have bucks that literally why do you need to suck on my why does this thing want to suck on my finger all the time, Sophie? <laughs> look, look. Uh, this friends. one chewing on the Oh that this is it's awful. <laughs> like they're all Ow. over you. Hold on to her. Let me show let me take a picture of her under. Sophie's reading the message I sent to my friend saying, Oh my gosh, this I thing has an udder. So basically a goat. Oh, I was going to say this one has an udder, but that's not what I was feeling. Oh my gosh. Basically, a goat's belly is flat unless they get an udder. And once they get an udder, that's like a pretty good indication that they're pregnant. And then the udder continues to grow slowly over time and then it pops at hey, the end. <laughs> Better your hair than mine. You, your layers are already choppy. I don't need that. Oh. Hey, if you want some All right, let's. Oh my gosh! Oh, you are so cute. 
I just want some good pictures. Man, you guys, this really sucks. Like, it honestly is just so weird. Like, I sent a message to the lady. I just realized when we were there, she had all the babies together in a pen. And I think there were two black ones and one cream colored one. So her brother and then a beautiful little buckling that was gold and white and he was stunning Ow. and she said she's gonna keep him and I didn't even like think about the fact that they were all 12 weeks old and the little gold one might even even have been older because he was really chubby and a little bit he was short but a little bit bigger and it didn't even occur to me that she had a 12 week old doling in with two 12 week old bucklings and I'm waiting to find out maybe they're weathered but I, I don't know, you tend to weather between 8 and 12 weeks, so I don't know, we're going to see, but I just checked this little doling, I just checked this little doling over so many times, Sylvia and I are like, there's no way, but her belly is so rock hard like it's pregnant, and she has like a definite udder formation, and I'm like, holy heck, like what are the chances? I saw her udder when she was breastfeeding. Yeah, yeah, like I can see her udder. Just from looking at her from behind. Yes, you. <laughs> Please don't be pregnant with your brother. With your brother's babies. It's like a soap opera. The whole thing about this goat is like a soap opera. We are definitely separating our babies. They're going to be separated here in like maybe two weeks. Because Winston is uh, five weeks old now. And I want to make sure that he's out of here before there's any chance that he could... <laughs> he could get anybody else pregnant. Hi. Man, this just sucks. Rat type thing. Is it a weasel? Like really long bodied? I don't know. I just saw like a great thing with like white on its belly or something right there. And it was big. Okay. Just wait, 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 wait. Hurry up. Let me put all my stuff down. Alright. I feel like he saw it too. Alright. If it runs at me, I'm telling you now. <laughs> That's heavy. <laughs> you are brave. Uh, it's a weasel. There's a huge hole down there. Like it's all shallow under there. Something's living under there then. Well, that's scary. Oh, so God. Sophie came in to start cleaning out the stalls and she saw look what looked like a big rat go underneath there. So we don't know what it, if it, I don't know if it was a weasel. She said it's bigger than a rat. Bigger than a rat? Bigger than a rat? I don't know. I barely saw it. I she saw barely it. saw it. <laughs> Another nice summery day. Even though it's like only two degrees above freezing. But it's still warm <laughs> for storm. <laughs> Look. Is that my girl? Cricket? <laughs> With the boy, yeah. <laughs> With the, the, With there's the two black one. ones. She likes black babies. It's a good day on the farm when all the horses are laying down. You see Penny over there? She's having a nap too. So you guys know Posey is potty trained 150%. Today's the first day she actually asked me to go outside. She uh, went, actually went to the door and said like, hey, I'm at the door. <laughs> and she has never ever walked to the door before on her own. She always waits for me. Uh, she knows the way. I've been bri bribing her to walk to the door. I take a little treat. I drop it on the floor from her room all the way to the door and so she knows and then I bring a treat for her to come in because carrying her is getting to be a lot. Even though she doesn't really seem to have grown a ton, she's heavy. Come on, posy pig. Come on. Come down and play with your puppy friends. I think every dog is outside right now. Uh-oh. Hey, get over here, Ruby. There's something underneath that porch, isn't there? Is there something underneath there? I am actually dying to dig up this ground more and to get it all ready to plant. I'm like so excited for flowers this year. I did talk to Cricket's old owner and said like, hey, this is what's up. She seems like a little bit pregnant to me. <laughs> And she said there's absolutely zero chance that she could be pregnant. She was with a six week old and a banded male, 12 week old, and he's still young. So 
I don't know. She says she can't. She says she's absolutely 100% not pregnant. So I'm going to pray that that is true. Posey is so excited about the weather, though. She's like, yes, it's finally warm. Go play, Posey girl. Go play. Posey, come here, Posey. Come on, Piggy, 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 Piggy. Come on. <laughs> oh, so. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Finally! Oh my gosh! Good girls! Yeah! Good girl! Good girl! Yes! Good girl! Go play. Oh my gosh. You coming in? Come on. <laughs> no. <laughs> I should have put her leash on. Come on, let's go in. I think it's not time yet. <laughs> Don't you know that you're beautiful?